Hey everybody, Ducks here, and we'll be talking about the uh, Enhanced Shannon and the uh, Talent Tree. Uh, it has changed quite a bit in certain areas, so uh, I will have to uh, debrief you guys on that. Uh, we have Boulder Fist here, which used to be its own ability on top of uh, be, being able to use uh, Rock Biter. They remove basically this uh, changes Rock Biter. Uh, into giving you a 10% uh, crit chance plus an increase in all damage dealt by 5% and it generates 25 maelstrom. So you can either pick that and then now you're using this instead of Rock Biter or just keep Rock Biter. But I decided to go with that for the 5% increased damage and you use uh, this ability quite a bit. Uh, right now, my latest uh, uh, try, uh, Boulder Fist accounted for my third best ability overall after Lava Lash and Storm Strike. Uh, if you actually if you combine Storm Strike and Storm Strike offhand it's Storm Strike is the best ability of the boat and then after that Lava Lash and then Boulder Fist. So it takes into account quite a bit of damage. So on top of buffing all your uh, abilities afterwards. Uh, the next rank is uh, changed a little bit. They added something called Rainfall. Blanket the target area in healing rain, restoring 33k health to up to uh, 6 allies in the area over 10 seconds. It's instant and it's a 10 second cooldown. And it's a pretty good heal actually. I picked Feral Lunge here, but this is what I'll pick from now on because again, uh, I think I was just mad overall because ha we had this other ability which uh, Elemental still has, which like puts you like in a little uh, uh, what is it called? Gosh, a tornado kind of thing, and then you just flew. It was kind of like a, a little bit like a charge almost, like a, a gap closer. It was great, but they removed it. I think they saw that it would be pretty OP for PvP or something like that, but for PvE, it was sorely missed. And I guess they wanted to force us to use Ghost Wolf as well because they increased the speed of it and all that stuff. Like, why, why do all these moves and then give these guys? that way out just didn't make much sense I guess overall so you can either pick, pick feral lunge to charge a target or you can use rainfall to heal yourself the thing that I didn't like at the beginning which I have to double check again is healing surge was healing for shit when uh, I first tried it and I felt like I had to heal like three four or five times to top myself off after a fight if I needed to so rainfall at least is instant and it's gonna gonna heal you at least a little bit during it so that at the end hopefully you don't need to heal at all so it's something we are gonna have, we're gonna have to test it a bit more and see how it uh, plays out. But again, you have the choice now at least, which is nice. And you still have the Windrush Totem, which I never liked. And then after that, we go into the next row. Again, it's it's just a Totem. Uh, Voodoo Totem is definitely really awesome to have. But again, if you want a stun instead of a uh, uh, Hex a CC or a... Uh, Holding the target in a spot with the hurt grab, it's up to you. Again, I pick Voodoo. Uh, next one here. For leveling, I might pick Lightning Shield because it's not really detailed off properly in uh, when you uh, parse on a dummy. It doesn't it doesn't hit you back, so therefore you don't uh, you they don't get it, it doesn't proc as much as it should. And if you have multiple targets on you, you can get multiple procs and stuff. It can become really really handy. But uh, without that, then I went with Ancestral Swiftness, increases my haste by 10% and attack speed by 10% at all times. And you also have Sundering Shatters the a line of hurt before you, causing 207k physical damage and knocking the enemies to the side. Again, remember, this is for level 110. <laughs> Just so you don't get too excited with those numbers. Uh, Tempest, uh, Storm Fury now affects the next two Storm Strikes. You can also go with Overcharge. Uh, Lightning Bolt now consumes up to 60 Maelstrom for up to 1500% uh, increased damage, but has a 7.4 uh, second cooldown. This is intriguing and could work because technically uh, we don't use Lightning Bolt, so the 7. Point, well, well, I didn't use it, I should say. It was averaging 10k damage, so that's why I wasn't using it. It was just really bad. Uh, but again, if you use it with that, now. Your lightning, your lightning bolt becomes a bit more powerful, and the 7.4 second cooldown it doesn't matter all that much. The only thing that I would worry about is the 60 maelstrom to recover that in the time and see if that's really worth it. That's one of the things I have to keep the kind of have to test in the next few builds. Uh, landslide. That's another thing that buffs your boulder fist. 
uh, and now uh, enhances the weapon, increasing your attack power by 20% for 10 seconds. The only problem is when I used it, it didn't change uh, the, the tooltip for the spell, so I don't know if that works currently. Uh, then I picked a crashing storm, crash lightning, electrifies the ground, leaving an electrical field behind, which damages enemies within it for 49k uh, nature damage over 6 seconds. So really good spell to have. Uh, and crashing storm, uh, crash lightning will be uh, proc quite a bit, so you can actually have that constant AoE going. The only thing is you have to stay near it, it doesn't move with you, so. But it's a pretty big, like you can't really miss it. It's like this huge ass freaking lightning circle kind of energy thing. So, the other choices are Frostban, uh, Hellstrom. Now becomes a. Uh, also enhance your weapon uh, damage, causing each of your weapons attack to deal 2.1k additional frost damage, which is little to nothing considering you are at level 110. Uh, and then empower Stormlash. Your Stormlash effect now sp spreads to one additional target and deals 30% additional damage. That might be interesting as well, but again, I, I just really like Crashing Storm, especially if you're going to pull like multiple uh, adds uh, while laughing. Here I picked Ascendance because again I was on a target dummy. I still like Fury of Air, really great AoE on top of your Crash Lightning. Like you're just going to maul multiple targets down like really fast. Um, but again, if you prefer like a single target burst or whatever, you can go with Ascendance. And then Earth and Spike uh, summons the Earth and Spike under the, the enemy, instantly dealing 100k damage. And increasing the physical and nature damage that you deal to them by 10% for 10 seconds. So yeah, I guess, uh, again, it just depends on what you, you really want. Uh, for me, I really like the AoE. I, f I find it was one of their weakness uh, at first, and now it's more one of their strength. So, and, it, and the thing with Fury of Air too is you use it, and you basically forget it for a while. Like you don't have, it, it, it can stay on there for quite a bit of time, so. Uh, da -da 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 -da. And then, yeah, Ascendance, like if you have a boss and single target, and, switch like this is going to be something you're going to switch constantly i guess uh but yeah overall uh like most of the changes they've done uh this one is really nice i just wish we had that other like feral lunge if it worked properly when i tried it would probably <laughs> would not be so bad but i feel like that should be part of the spec without being in the talent tree but again maybe it's because it's in the wrong column where you can't really do anything <laughs> it's either well, I'm getting hit a lot, and this is going to heal me for 30, 30k. Well, also 30k is not much. You got to remember that too. 30k uh, heal on 110, uh, not that much. I'm assuming it's going to be like a very, very tiny heal at max level. So I might actually switch back to Feral Lunge. Uh, but again, it's just you got to you got to take into account being a level 110 sometimes, and it doesn't quite tell you that, especially for leveling at the low level. Again, thanks for watching, guys. If you liked it, make sure it gives me a thumbs up, and then I'll see you guys on the next one. Later.